we are at Central Park with the bird's eye view. Like a hawk. And that's what I was back in high school. J.P. Stevens Hawks. Makes me think of our great analogy, the predator and prey mindset. So you look at the animal kingdom, there's two types of animals, predator and prey. We learned this in my animal behavior class back at the University of Pennsylvania. And we found there's an easy way to tell the difference between a predator animal and a prey animal just by looking at them. Do you know what it is? It's by looking at their eyes. Remember this, predator animals have their eyes on the front of their head. Eyes on the front like to hunt. Why? Because they need to focus on their prey. They focus exclusively on their goal. They don't focus on what's going on around them. Then let's look at prey animals. Squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits. Their eyes are on the side of their head. Eyes on the side like to hide. Why? Because they're focusing on what's going on around them. They don't want to get eaten. They got to beware of predators. But you look at those predators, lions, tigers, bears, oh my. Their eyes are on the front of their head. So remember that saying, eyes on the front like to hunt, eyes on the side like to hide. What in the world does that have to do with you as a wrestler? What does that have to do with you as a student? And what does that have to do with you as a person? Everything. That's a great analogy for all of your life. You wake up in the morning, you wash your face, you brush your teeth, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you locate your eyes. Where are your eyes located? You're darn right, they're located on the front of your head. In fact, I did this lesson once with a group of middle school kids, an elementary school a wrestling team, and I asked that question, where are your eyes located? And a kid put it together in his head, he put two and two together, nine-year-old kid, and he's like, oh my gosh, I'm a predator. And I was like, that's right. Ran over to him, gave him a big high five, felt like Tony Robbins rocking a crowd, giving high fives in the middle of the speech. But he's right, you're a predator, and you should be just as excited as that nine-year-old kid who came to that realization that you're a predator. So what does that mean for you? You need to start focusing exclusively on your goals, just like the predator. You focus on things within your control, your effort, your attitude, your aggressiveness. You don't focus on what we call the prey mindset. What's going on around you? What are other people thinking of me? How am I doing compared to my friends? Comparing myself to other people, you see that all the time. That's a surefire road to anxiety, to depression, all these negative things because we're comparing ourselves to other people. It's prey mindset. Get it out of your head. We talked before about the, the um, hype, the fan mentality, getting caught up in records, ranking, seedings, and predictions has nothing to do with you. Even focusing in school, we're taking a test, focusing on what grade we're gonna get, what college we're gonna go into. We don't focus on that while we're performing, while we're taking a test, while we're in the athletic competition. Focus on things within your control, effort, attitude, and aggressiveness, and you too will be a predator in sports, school, and life.